Hey everyone, it's Kiki Simming, and I'm finally back with another part of Young and Pregnant. Um, I was going to play a day off of camera just because I wanted it to hear it and get to the weekend. Um, and also, I forgot last part that I was supposed to show you guys Honey's mother who was supposed to come over and actually see the babies. She hasn't seen them yet, it's been a couple of days, so she'll be coming over as well. I completely forgot about it, but <laughs> while I was playing off camera trying to get it to Friday, y'all, uh, you know, the next door neighbor, uh, I think her name was with Greta or something like that, you know, you know, she was having relations and Honey and Carlos were kind of upset, and so I told her to come knock on the door, and I'm like, who else, I mean, who could she be in there with, because you know, it's only her, her son. Uh, she and her son are the only ones that live here. And I'm like, girl, who are you having relations with, girl? I hope you're not on that incest, sis. Like, come on now, boo. We don't do that around these parts. So she came out and in her robe, y'all, and some sneakers. Some sneakers. Some Nikes at that blue. Like, girl, you came out here in some sneakers, sis. What? What's really good? What is going on? But yeah, so she came over here and she's like, okay, yeah, you're making too much noise. We've got a problem. Okay, you in here doing God knows what, God knows whom, and and I, I can't take it. Cause she's about to go to sleep and all that stuff. So that is what I want to show y'all. But when I come back, it'll definitely be Friday. So if you see like a, a big jump, I just wanted to show you guys this because I thought it was hilarious that she really smooth came out here with a robe and some, some shoes on. So yeah, so when you, when I do come back, it'll be a jump from, uh, this is Wednesday night to Thursday, I mean, um, Wednesday night and then y'all see her back again um, Friday. And I also want to say happy new year to all of y'all. Um, I hope you had a great New Year's Eve. I hope you guys were, you know, were safe, you know, to, to the people that can drink. I hope you were responsible to the youngins. Um, I hope you guys uh, were okay and, you know, watched out for your friends. Look out for your friends. Like I say, take care of your friends, y'all, because, you know, these places aren't always safe when y'all go out and you hang out with your friends and stuff like that. So just be careful and be mindful of your surroundings. I know people you know let loose and have fun you can do that but just make sure you know you go with your friends to the bathroom and and you come back with them and y'all all leave together like you know just and this is just not just for new year's eve this is just for any party or anything like that just make sure that your friends are safe and that they're taken care of because you know you don't want you know anything to happen so yeah so once i come back it will be friday and you will get to meet honey's mom all right. Okay, y'all. You know how I said I was going to come back when it hit Friday. But uh, it is Thursday, and Honey decided to bring a friend over. And I've, I've seen her in my other parts. Her name is Brenda. And I told you she was the girl who was having trouble at home with her mom. So she decided to move in with her two friends um, who are, whose parents are uh, married to each other. So, Honey decided to bring her home, and I think I'm gonna have Brenda kind of be like the one that's kind of like the influence, the bad influence per se, um, over Honey. Like, she's not, I don't wanna say like super bad, but she's just like, yeah, girl, you know, whatever you wanna do, if you wanna go out and have some fun, let's do that. Like, she's down for whatever. And so, with her having that kind of personality, Honey's like, okay, girl, let's do this. Like, you down, I'm down, let's just be down together and we can make this happen. So, Today is uh, still Thursday. She just got home from school. And so what I'm gonna have her do, of course, is do her homework. And then uh, what I'm gonna do is just play, play it through and then have her mom come over Friday. Cause her mom's still gonna come over. Uh, and then that night, Honey's actually gonna go out. So we're gonna go from here and yeah, so y'all see.
Okay. So she's like, yeah, girl, so I'm going to go out. Uh, Mon I mean, tomorrow, and if you want to come out with me, you know, just come out and hang out and, and do all that stuff. And, you know, she took out our trash and everything, but she's going to be like, yeah, girl, okay, we can, um, we can do that, no problem. I'm telling you, look at JC on. JC on, she's so, oh my God, they're so sweet. Okay, let me, he needs a diaper change, and then I'm going to feed him, and then who else? Harmony. Harmony girl, what you looking like, girl? Okay, she needs her diaper change, and then I'm gonna feed her. And then I'm just I'm gonna just go ahead and just feed Jackson as well because I know he's probably gonna end up start crying too. So yeah, she's gonna be like, yeah, girl, she's gonna be the one that that goes out with Brenda. Well, it's gonna be Brenda and it's also gonna be Princess, and it'll probably be see already. It's probably gonna be the other girls, um, from where she lives as well that that will go out so we'll do that and then she also has oh she's helping yes Brenda girl thank you thank you for that that is too sweet that is too sweet and then when Carlos gets home he needs to do his work she's already home girl she's stressed stressed I, I see you boo it's okay it is okay, and I still didn't get that that melanin pack from the experiment. I still gotta get that. I still gotta get it. Um, let's see what else. Oh yeah, let me have her do her home. Well, should she eat first? I wanna see what she. Okay, she should eat first. Have her. Uh, let me put this in the trash, and then have her. Um, open. Oh, she's already doing it. Okay. I was hoping she would. She made the macaroni and cheese. I just didn't show y'all that. So she's gonna take care of that and she will run the fun in it. Look at this. I'm loving this. This is great. This is great. Because the story is kind of playing out on its own. With both of them. And I had to kill another dang vampire because they tried to come up in here. Um, you know how the camera does, it switches back to the you know, if something's about to pop off, see, look at him. Oh my gosh. She's so bored. I can't with her. Yeah. Oh, Brenda, they probably gonna, they probably gonna be uh, good friends. Not best friends, but they're gonna hit it off well enough for, you know, them to hang out or whatever. She was like, yeah, girl, we gonna go out. My mom's gonna come over. She's gonna take care of my kids. Even though she don't know, she gonna take care of them. But that's what she gonna do. That's what she gonna do. And then after that, after she goes around with her friend, eats her food, I'm gonna have her do her homework because y'all already know what time it is. And this is a late night session, y'all. Like, I'm doing this like dead late at night. Well, not super late night. It's like it's 11 30. I usually try to film in the day, but I feel like doing it since I already put my first episode of my Machinima series, Rivers Phoenix. Uh, it took me a minute and I was you know, kind of all over the place with it, but I, I still am happy with what came out of it. So I hope you guys support that. I really do um, love it. It's my baby. It's one of my, my passion projects along with, uh, I have a couple other machinimas. It's machinima mini series that I, ha I want to do also as well as another uh, series too. So um, hopefully you guys support that. But right now focus on hunty make sure she gets her homework done and she's still talking to brenda at the same time brenda girl you need to be doing your homework i don't know what you think you're doing she's like girl i do when i when i get ready i'll do it when i get ready everything's gonna be good it is all good trust and believe so yeah um what else does she need to do she already got her she needs to get her skin more skills up. Uh, mm, look at him. Tense from work. Oh my god. Hey Carlos. It's me Jada. Do you want to go out on a date? Oh my god. You guys. Look at this. <sighs> Jada is so sweet. Uh, but I feel like if they go out on a date, it's going to switch back to me. I want them to go out. I, I am going to have them go out. There is going to be a part where I do have them go out. 
um, but it, I don't know if it's going to be this particular part or not. I doubt it. I'm not going to do myself like that, but I, I think in the next part, I'll probably have them go on a little cute date because y'all, when I was playing off camera, she was so cute. She came in and she changed Jackson's diaper and she played with them and you know what I'm saying? You know, they, they ate and honey seems to really like her a lot too. So that's, that's good. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, she doesn't have any issue with Jada because she doesn't know her like that. Her, her main issue lies with her father and you know, the relationship they have because he wasn't there. So there's that, but it was it was too cute. I said yes, and she took out the trash too. She's a keeper. I mean, not not saying that that you know requires somebody to stay with somebody, but still, like her just doing that, you know, by herself. To me, that's just like, girl, okay, I see you, boo. I see you, and I like it. I like what I see. But right now, Carlos is tense because you know he's, he hates his job. He's tired. No, is he tired? You know he's hungry um and you know he's like it's just he's not really that's not really his, his thing as far as you know what he's doing right now so you know he's doing it because he has to do it it's a job you know like any other job and i would like i said i would like to take him out but uh they'll go out another time she's so adorable i can't with her can. I think this part is going to be a, a little bit longer. I usually, oh, she's going to leave. Okay, Brenda, bye, girl. See you Friday. We go out. But yeah, she already tense. What is she tense about? Oh, familiar distress. I just need to escape the family. Oh, yeah, I forgot. She also is going through a phase. She was going through a phase. Uh, it showed, was it earlier in the morning? or was it that Wednesday night she was going through a phase or something so she's going through a phase and I'm like girl you have to get over that phase because you got three whole babies girl so they gonna be your phase <laughs> they gonna be your phase for the next 18 years so yeah she'll be all right and then Carlos he's also hungry I, I want to see has he his work okay well he's 25 percent done he needs to reach level two of his programming skill and doing that plus being lazy is a task okay he's all and he all he loves to sleep he, he barely cleans up honey is honey is a one for doing that but um yeah carlos is not finna take care of the baby who's crying who is crying oh my god i told you jc on gives me gives honey the blues he gives her that work every time it never fails Oh, I have him queued up to do it. No, I want Honey to do it. You can't escape it, sis. Come get your man. Come get your baby boy. Take care of him. And take care of your, your baby girl. She doesn't look like she needs her diaper to change, but she might just want to be fed. And then, uh, let's cuddle her a little bit. Cuddle her a little bit and bounce. And then, yeah, she, hey, she's so responsible. Put your work up. Okay. And then she has to go to the restroom. So we're going to take care of that for her. And then what does Carlos need? Other than he finishes work. Only 75% done, almost done. And then I'll have him come get something to eat. Open, get him some, get him a grilled cheese. That's all they got. Oh, oh grab a serving. I guess that the grilled cheese was the last one. The same place into the world. Either that or it's oh, whatever. And then, okay, Jackson's good. Jackson, he's, I think he's going to be the independent one because he needs the less, to me, from what I see, he's the one that needs the less, uh, the least amount of attention. Uh, from what I see, he does. So, like I said, ja uh, Jason's definitely going to be a clean dude. I'm going to have Jackson be independent. And then Harmony, I don't know what I, I'm, I am going to have her be. I'm not sure quite yet. But when they get there, because they're not going to be this age for, for much longer, um, I'll probably 
I don't even know what episode this is. I think it's episode, this is part five. So I might go up, I might go up to episode 10 um, as far as them being babies and then just go ahead and age them to toddlers because I'm ready for them to be toddlers. Uh, it's going to be, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. I know that. I don't know if I, I'm going to have, well, yeah, they're still going to be living here. It's going to be a lot. So I'll probably do, um, show y'all, you know, how I switch it up. Like, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do or how, how I'm going to do it, to be honest with you. Oh, Lord. See? There she go again. Yeah, I don't, I think, I, mm, she might have two clingers on her hands, to be honest. Oh, she's cleaning out the, oh my God. She's such a, she's such a good kid, y'all. She really is. She just made a really bad mess. She just really made a bad decision. She had a horrible, horrible made a horrible decision. No, that's what it is but I don't want her to I want her to what do I want her to do what do I want her to do I want her to come knock on this damn door <laughs> and uh, be like sis keep your music down girl like what's good this is like the second time I've had to confront you first it was the woo woo now you in here just no. Where is it? Okay. I thought you could. Um, I don't see it. I'll give her a rude introduction. Give her a rude introduction, and then go off on her. Funny. Oh, she cursed her out. Yes. She said, if, if you don't turn down that muck in music, me and you gonna have a problem. So what's good? What's good? Yes. She's going off for her. <laughs> oh my God. But where is the me? Not you out. Her religion. No, I don't want you to be nice to her. Okay, I guess that's it. Whatever. That was so funny though. She was just like, I'm so, are you finna go back out here and talk to this woman? She got her dog on food. Oh no, oh no ma'am. Oh no, you finna insult her face. Tell her she's trash. Don't you ever in your life. Okay, we got a problem. Then you ask her to leave. I don't have no empathy for her. Forget her. She's super mad. I don't want her to die. Okay, well, get going. Bye. She's so mean. She's so <laughs> Honey, get back in here, girl. Calm down. Calm down. See, look at him. He's at it again. Yo, just bounce. Cuddle. And then we gotta change Jackson. Look at yo. Yo. Oh god. Look, y'all the <laughs> The rats is just running rampant. <laughs> she said, My mom is gonna be here tomorrow and she's gonna see the situation that we live in, the, the place that we live in, and she's not gonna tolerate this dad. Like, you you really have me, like, I can't believe I'm still living here. You got rats coming out of here. This is crazy. I was told by Apple Care. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness okay so she got her work done now she's tired 
Okay, but for real, y'all, I'm going to have her go to sleep, and then I'm going to come back and just, I should say she just cursing. I asked for advice. Okay, for asking calls for advice. Okay, let's see. Let's see what, how this goes. She's already super tense. She's asking him for advice. Ask him for advice. See what's up. Who are you asking? Okay, I would like to adult. <laughs> she said, I would like to adult now. I feel like I'm old enough now that I should be allowed to go anywhere I want and do whatever I want. Can you treat me like an adult, please? Oh, girl, you're already going to have to be, you're already an adult because you have three whole babies, girl. Not until you've grown more. <laughs> You'll always be my baby. Not until you've grown more. Mm, I mean, it doesn't really fit the situation, but I'll say you always be my baby. And look at this. She's super tense. The music is still going. What is Carlos doing? Is the rat still out there? Oh, yes. It is. Get that rat. Get that rat. she go oh she's trying to calm herself down <laughs> she's like I can't this freaking rat to my baby's crying I just don't know what to do she's super tense about this rat what's that yo and I don't want to call a landlord because they never can see they never can seem to actually like he's tired Babies are acting a fool. This is a mess. This is a mess. Change diaper. Um, and then feed. Breastfeed. Feed. And then cuddle. Y'all, this is crazy. <laughs> Carlos said, I need a bath. <laughs> he went to sleep. Carlos said, I can't take I stink and I need a bath. This is too much. This is too much. Like I, I could do it when it was just me, but we got I got my daughter here. I got my three grandbabies. This is too much for me. This is too much. And she's dead tired. So we're gonna have her get in the bed. And, Cause I'm gonna let Carlos sleep there. You gonna be great. You be great in this bathtub, uh, Carlos, with your thong gone. Yes. I love where they got this man in the phone. It brings me life. It really does. You be great, Carlos, with that thong, sir. Oh my God. She really is a good mom, though, but she's super stressed, so we about to let her hit the club. I'm going to have her sleep, and then once it gets night Friday, y'all, I promise y'all, I'm going to be back. I'm going to be back and have her hit up the club. Yeah. Okay, y'all, so I'm back, and it is Friday, and Honey just got off, off out of school, and um, <laughs> some crazy stuff was happening while I was, you know, trying to get through the day or whatever. So, Carlos got a promotion, well, I, I guess from the last time he got a promotion, and so his ex-wife, Miss Rita right here, who, which I brought into, you know, the thing just because, you know, she's coming to see the babies she was like oh yeah you know congratulations on the promotion we'll take you out to breakfast and i'm like skirt skirt no ma'am <laughs> what are you doing no thank you like that's not even your you know your place and of course jada like asked him out a couple of times so they're definitely going to be going out on a date but i just thought that was really funny that she was just you know smooth asked him out on a date like girl um you need to be worried about your man's what is he doing? What is he up to? Okay. Okay. So, yeah. So, she's out of school. She just got to finish taking care of the babies. And, y'all, are these, like, new emotions that they have? Because she came home from school. And it says she was mortified. Like, I don't know if that's, like, I don't, I've never seen that in the game before. But the, <laughs> but the, um, uh, 
the picture that they have for it is hilarious. Like I'm cracking up. That is too funny that they actually have like the mortified look. But I don't even think I saw that. But I was like, okay, girl, you just gonna be mortified. So she's ready, definitely ready to get out of the house. And um, so now that her mom is here, um, you know, she's gonna talk to her mom for a little bit because her mom doesn't know that she's going out. She's thinking that she's gonna spend, you know, spend just another day with her and the babies and, you know, get to know her grandbabies and things like that. But what she does hand out is that while she, while, um, Hunt, well, what Rita doesn't know is while she's, you know, Googling and gaga over the babies, and, um, Honey's gonna sneak out. Like, I already got, made her an outfit or whatever for when she goes out. It's, it's cute. It's real Honey-esque. That's what it is. Uh, that's one of the things it's gonna be. It's real Honey-esque. Like, you know, because Honey's always been a dresser. Like, she's always had clothes, things like that. Like, she's never been one to not dress or get it popping. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to definitely see her in clothes that she's already owned, quote unquote. Like these are already her clothes that she's had. But um, yeah, so you, she is a real, you know, real cute, honey-esque outfit. You know, nothing just like over the top or anything, but it's cute. And then I'm going to pick up her friends or whatever and have them come in here. But yeah, let's meet Miss Rita. Where is she? She, she probably won't come in. Where is she? She is dead. Lord, yeah, what is she doing? She's fine, but y'all look at her. She's mad. What you mad about? Who you getting into it with? Oh my gosh, every y'all, I'm telling you, my Sims are a mess. Like, if they stay getting into it or stay mad about something, what you mad about, Miss Rita? What's she mad about? She, oh, I thought she was mad. But yes, look at her, y'all. Look at her. Honey looks just like her mom, like just like her. She is too fly. She is so pretty to me. And that the I got her in the uh, she speaks uh, Simlish hair. Like I said, I think this Max's match hair is too bomb. This and the big curly one, like those are my, those are some of my favorite Max's matches hair ever. Like, and I don't usually see a lot of, like, Max's match hair that I like or that I would put on my Sims, but it looks bomb on her. But yes, look at her. She looks, her and Honey look just like, when I made her, I was like, oh my gosh, she is so fly. Like, yes, I'm loving it. She is too bomb for me. So yes, this is Rita, um, Honey's mom and Carlos's ex-wife. Uh, she is going to be, you know chatting it up with the baby she's gonna have some few choice words for honey when she gets back but that probably probably won't see that until the next part because i'll probably end up ending the part at the, the club or before honey actually comes back so yeah i'm gonna have her go up to the place have her come up here i don't know why she's still down here and meet her baby meet her grandbabies well first hug her daughter She's going to hug her. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, I'm not even on her. That's why. Duh. Okay, so she's going to hug her. Look, Miss Honey. So I'm going to give her a hug. Oh, I said she's a hug loving. Because she still loves her. She, she adores her daughter, but, you know, she's letting her know that, you know, every con for every action, there is a reaction. And for everything she do, there are going to be consequences for them. So she's gonna come in and um, hug her mother. And then she's gonna come and meet her grandbabies. She's gonna meet Miss, Mr. Jackson. She's gonna cuddle and bounce. And then she's gonna do the same thing. Uh, bounce and cuddle and then um, fix her face. And then, okay, it's full. What's going on? Yo, is it something broken here? Yes. Oh, Lord. She's so, yes. She loves her baby. Oh, my God. She's like, yes, Mom. Like, I can't believe you really have me in this place. Like, do you see how Dad lives? Like, he like he knows that we have baby. I have babies here. And, like, he has freaking rats. Oh, two of them. She's so, she's so upset. 
upset. She's so upset about it. She's like, Mom, I really just want to go back home and live with you guys. Like, can I just live with you and, and my dad and stepdad Trevor? Like, I really hate it here. Like, it's terrible. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. She's so cute. Oh, her mama's too fly. She wants to just cry. To, and it says she's going to be mortified for, well, at first it said eight hours. Now it's just four. Oh my gosh. But yes. She has more than that. So yes. Um, once it gets about, I say it's like seven o'clock, seven or eight, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, Honey to go ahead and change. Look at her. Look at her. She's so... <laughs> I can't take her. You know what? Let me actually have her call the maintenance man. Complain to the landlord and then have him fix that. She's just like, you see what I have to live through? Like, this is absolutely preposterous. No, she goes, this is crazy, mom. Like, can't you see what I'm going through? Like, I have to live here with him. I'm just, I'm just, it's just too much. It's too much for me right now, okay? Like, I can't, I can't tell. I can't tell at this. Uh, sir, we don't care about none of that. Just fix the dog on, uh, whatever it is. She's sitting here showing him pictures of the babies. That's what she doing. <laughs> She's really, Okay. Okay, so let me get um, Rita set up. <gasps> what was that? Did y'all see that? That was crazy. I guess that was him opening. She just... She's... <laughs> you see what I mean? They are acting a fool. She's like, hey, baby. What's going on? What's wrong with you? So what you so mad about? Chatting with honey, make funny faces. What is going on? Rita's super tense about this uh this sparking. Yes, our lows for making all that point. Okay, well, while she's talking, look at it, look at it. Okay, I'm gonna have Carlos come in. Carlos, you know Carlos is he's gonna speak to his, his ex. His ex, um, he's gonna give her a hello. Uh, oh, my bad. Um, let's see. Be friendly. Okay, we'll do, okay, ask about day. So I ask her about her day, and then we're going to get up out of here. And have her go to the club. So, while they're conversing, okay, come on. You come here. No matter of fact, let me bring her out here. Bring her out here. And then, we're going to pretend like she has like her backpack on or whatever. Because, you know, she has, she has her clothes on so she can go ahead and change. She is so, she's going through it. I can't, I can't deal with her. You're going to have to get over it. Okay, so while she's out, she's going to call. She's going to travel. She's going to travel. Uh, let's see, let's see. She's going to um, travel with this princess. With his princess. Okay, princess. And she's going to travel with Where's Brenda. Brenda. Poppy's cakes. Um, should I bring her? No, she's she's a whole pregnant girl out here. Okay, so she's gonna just travel with Princess and Brenda, and then once she's there, I'm going to come back, y'all, and then go from there. Y'all, when I tell y'all she's going through, like she's been crying on and off. She's been doing the most, like the most, three most. Okay, so she's here with Princess and she's going to talk to her. She's so ridiculous. Like, I can't deal with her. Look at how she's acting. 
and I was hoping it would be dark out here uh, by the time they actually got here, but it's still a little light out here. She's really having a fit. I can't, I'm not gonna play with her. Uh, we're we gonna have to order. Um, I guess I understand. Uh, DJ headliner. Uh, we're gonna do that. She's like, I don't care. <laughs> Whatever the amount of money it is. And then she's gonna come over here and play uh, arcade games. Um, she's gonna do that with them. She's such a brat. Look at her. She's being such a brat. She's being such a brat. What is his name? Like, you too old. You need to move around. Dominic. Let me get a picture with her and the princess. This is so cute. I can't. You're so adorable. Look at this. Okay. Yeah, take that. And then look at Princess and her braces. Oh my god. Look at this. Oh, kid, my babies. Look at them. <laughs> they are so cute. They are so cute. But it's like super early still. And I don't understand why. It's not dark outside yet. Okay, so let me put this down. And then, is she gonna go? I'm gonna have her come out here on the bed. Yeah, I'm gonna have her come out here and dance. Uh, just dance. I was, I made this, I specifically made this spot for teams. So, the fact that I don't see any of my teams coming out. <laughs> she's so dramatic. Like, she's so dramatic. She's really going through a phase right now. But y'all, her outfit is too bomb. It's too cute. I almost put her on something else. But I was like... I like I want her to be, you know, a little ba ba boom, but not a lot. Like not yet, cause she's, you know, I still consider her like a super teenager. Which, you know, like I said, I don't, I don't mind, you know, what you wear, how you wear it, as long as you know you're comfortable in it. But not quite yet. The outfit that I wanted her to wear, not quite yet. When she gets a little older, then we can go that route. But yeah, <laughs> I'm crying in the club. Crying in the club. She crying in the club, still grooving. I can't hurt. <laughs> what you heartbroken about? You got 18 minutes. Crying in the club. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're so cute together. Like, I really like this group. I really like them. Mm, mm, mm. I just, I, I've just never seen that mortified. Yes, they're getting along. I love this. I love this. Okay, crying in the club. I think I'm gonna make that the title. Crying in the club. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, but uh, yeah, I specifically made this like a teen hangout spot, and all I see are adults in here. And I, you know, I made a whole bunch of teens. You know, just for this so it sucks that I'm seeing a lot of adult adults in here I want to give Jada Rose Jade Rose a makeup <laughs> look at this look at this look at this curfew is about to start if you don't if you don't go home soon then you will get in trouble Brita yes ma'am let her know let her know what the deal is. Rita said, I, you, you think I just because I don't live in this house, I won't snatch you right up, sis? I will snatch you up. Rita's letting her know. Oh, it's about to be some trouble, trouble. Oh my gosh, this is too funny. Rita said she's not with it. And honey's like, well, that's too bad, mother, because I'm still going to be out. I'm still going to be out. <laughs> Oh gosh, I, I need to put more teens in here because I'm not feeling this. I don't like the fact that it's just a whole bunch of adults in here. And here's a lady from the school. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I'm so mad. Like, I, I really did make this for them to come out and all I see is... <sighs> I'm feeling some kind of way. I am. But she having a good time. 
now and she not uh, feeling mortified anymore. I'm going to see if she can get, she probably going to try to get something to drink. Let me try to and get her something to drink. I wonder if they going to let her get something to drink. Break, break crazy package drink. Order drink. Uh, order. She got a favorite drink. I wonder what her favorite is. probably like a root beer, beer float or something. Order drink. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's get her a a ridge port. Okay, I'm gonna have her get a ridge port. This is funny. Like they need to make it to where like that's crazy that I mean, you know, I guess they they automatically assume that teenagers can drink. Okay, quit talking to uh what's his name? What is his name? Barco? Barco? She didn't want to get nothing to drink. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, go get some to drink. Go get some to drink. <laughs> she said her responsibility is just going down. It's going down. She's like, I'm going to get me some to drink. I've been stressed. My, my, my troopers have been stressing me out. And she checking her phone. She is so cute. Look at her. I can't. <laughs> oh God. She said, like, "I just want to be treated like an adult, and nobody thinks I can be. Like I already have three kids. <laughs> like I should be able to do whatever I want to do." Well, when she get home, Rita is going to, yes, Rita is going to get in her. Is she going to take a drink? Okay. We'll come back on the dance floor. Where did her friends go? Did they leave? Yo, they smooth left her. They were like, girl, we got to go. We're not trying to get in trouble for my uh, parents. You might can stay out late, but we can't. Yo, they smooth left. I'm mad. Oh, they not in here. They're not in here. Is this the part for teens? This might be the part for teens. No, but it don't look like it. I feel some type of way that they just came out and left. And she just being friendly to everybody. She said, I'm about to live it up because I know when I get home, that's going to be my Mr. Postman. Oh my gosh, this is too funny. Look at her, she's so adorable. Oh, all these old people. Well, they're not old, I ain't gonna say that, but they definitely do need makeovers, which I do probably end up doing off camera, but it sucks that there's I, none of the, the teens came out, which is what I wonder. What is this on? What kind of hair is that? Is that I can't believe this. This is absolutely crazy. Oh. See, this I'm I'm tempted to call them back because I do have that call anytime mod in. Which I'm tempted to do, but let me have her go. She's hungry. So I'll have her go use the restroom. And then she pumping her fist. She pumping her fist. See, I think these are all like new traits, like for real, y'all. I think they are. I don't I don't ever remember like seeing these things in the game before. It's like EA just smooth stuck uh snuck them in, in the game, you know, thinking nobody would notice. But I noticed EA, I see y'all. I see y'all. And I'm ready for those new game packs to come out. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I cannot wait. <clears throat> Yo, she's dazed. <laughs> this music lets your Sam see through time or at least see the ladies. Now, she dazed from that alcohol. 
look, she only had one drink and she already gone. You know what? <laughs> Honey can't hold her liquor. Honey cannot hold her liquor. Well, I'm going to have her get something to eat, y'all. And I'm going to end the part here because her friends left. Okay, well, go then. I'm going to end the part here, y'all. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was a lot going on, a lot of stuff happening. Uh, when she gets home, Rita is going to give her the business. Just know that. And y'all, I will have y'all there uh, along for that. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, like, comment, and subscribe. Your feedback is always welcome. And I will see you all in my next video. Take care, guys.